Catherine Rosalind Russell was born on June 4, 1907, in Waterbury, Connecticut, U.S., as the fourth of the seven children born to James Edward Russell, a trial attorney, and Clara McKnight, a school teacher. Her family was a wealthy one, and she enjoyed a comfortable childhood. As a young girl, she was an adventurous tomboy who loved to climb trees and ride horses. She went to Rosemont College in Rosemont, Pennsylvania, and Marymount College in Tarrytown, New York. She became drawn to acting during her college years and proceeded to the American Academy of Dramatic Arts in New York City. Confident and pretty, Rosalind Russell began her career as a fashion model, much against parental objection. Soon, she ventured into Broadway and worked with a stock company for several months. She even attempted a career in the opera, which was short-lived. Eventually, she entered films and made her debut in Evelyn Prentice in 1934. It was a small role, but her performance was much appreciated by the critics. Following this, she received many roles and appeared in films such as Forsaking All Others, 1934, Craig's Wife, 1936, and Four's a Crowd, 1938. In 1939, she played the gossip Sylvia Fowler in the George Cukor directed comedy The Women. The film was a major hit, boosting her career and establishing her reputation as a comedian. Her career flourished throughout the 1940s. In the comedy His Girl Friday, 1940, she played quick-witted reporter Hildy Johnson, who was also the ex-wife of her newspaper editor Walter Burns, portrayed by Cary Grant. She also appeared in movies such as The Feminine Touch, 1941, Take a Letter Darling, 1942, Sister Kenny, 1946, Morning Becomes Electra. 1947, and The Velvet Touch, 1948. Along with her film career, she continued to be active on the stage. One of her most memorable stage performances was the title role in the play Auntie Mame, in which she played an eccentric aunt whose orphaned nephew comes to live with her. She reprised the role in the 1958 film version of the play, which earned her a Golden Globe Award and an Academy Award nomination. She had an extensive career that continued well into the 1960s. In 1962, she appeared in the musical comedy drama film Gypsy, in which she played the role of a domineering stage mother, Rose Hovick. The later films of her career include Rosie, 1967, Where Angels Go, Trouble Follows, 1968, and Mrs. Polifax Spy, 1971.
director Cary Grant first introduced Rosalind Russell to her future husband, Danish-American producer Frederick Brisson, son of actor Carl Brisson. Russell married Brisson in 1941. The couple had one son and remained married for 35 years until Russell's death. She suffered from breast cancer during her later years and died on November 28, 1976.